Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be a special um, love and romance reading for the week of Valentine's. And I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out in a nine card spread. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Devil, in reverse. Next, we have the King of Cups, reversed. Followed then by Major Arcana, Death Card, Upright. And next we have the Knight of Pentacles in the Upright. Followed by the Six of Pentacles, Upright. And next we have the Ace of Pentacles, Upright. Followed by Major Arcana, the Star, in the Upright. And next we have the Eight of Wands, Upright. And lastly we have the Three of Pentacles in the Upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. Hmm. First of all, your first card is Major Arcana, the Devil, in the reverse position. This can indicate that for some of you, say if you were, this could, if you're single and this could have been your last relationship, maybe you just got out of a relationship. If you're in a relationship, this could be an element of what's going on in your current relationship. Now, the Devil in reverse Devil upright, this can indicate um, an obsessive, uh, sometimes uh, very ego-driven relationship when it's in the upright position. When it's reversed, however, this can be a good sign because it's like we're releasing the chains of bondage to um, a situation, say maybe somebody was, because uh, energies can go both ways, if you were obsessed in a relationship or somebody was obsessed with you and the relationship was getting a little bit out of control, out of hand. Uh, a lot of times we have these types of relationships where people can get addicted to each other and get addicted to the attention and get into these sort of ruts where, you know, we're kind of going back and forth. Uh, making up and then breaking up and in, in, in these crazy little cycles that can uh, happen when there's like too much passion maybe in a relationship now next card up is the king of cups in the reverse position it is court card so it could be representing a water sign cancer scorpio pisces sun moon arising male or female but the king of cups is in the reverse position indicating that uh, emotions could have, now this could have been your partner, your current partner, or it could be a past partner. Uh, perhaps this person's uh, emotions were out of balance, out of whack. Uh, perhaps with the uh, devil energy also being there as well. Maybe um, some of you were in a relationship where the person's uh, emotions were either um, suppressed or and shut down and they weren't giving any longer um, maybe they're just like going through something and they can't give any more in the relationship than they're possibly giving but it seems like it's okay um, because of the fact that the the devil is in the energy is in reverse so it's almost like um, if you were the one that was addicted to them you're coming out of that and you're not feeling so you know like so much like holding on to the relationship uh, for others of you it could be representing the other person maybe this uh, king of cups is just um, in a bad way in in the emotional front maybe they're shut down on you and they're not giving you enough um emotional attention because the king cups in reverse can be emotionally detached and not really expressing their fa feelings at all and sometimes they can just be not feeling their feelings in any way and they can't express it because they can't feel it so now that could be you virgo maybe you've just sort of uh, hit a wall with your current partner and you're just kind of like feeling like shutting down emotionally on them or it could be that the partner is doing that to you um, now the last card here is the and this is the past row so this is something that you know maybe recently it could be representing your old relationship or it could be representing current relationship the death card here can represent um, a need for change and transformation. Maybe there's an element of the relationship, if you're still in it, that needs to transform. Maybe somebody here in the relationship needs to open up and uh, express themselves uh, completely 
in the situation, but not in a, an ego-driven way when the devil's in the upright, it, but more in a, a less, you know, a less obsessed way and less like um, life or death kind of way. Just, I, I strongly feel that with the King of Cups being here in the middle, it's uh, somebody needs to express, either you do or the other person. Now, if this was your past relationship, it could be that the relationship ended due to the fact that um, the, the person just maybe got frustrated because they would no longer open up to you or maybe they never did. Maybe you were always just sort of beating up against the brick wall and you've just kind of given up on the situation and you walked away. Now, in your present energies, you have the Knight of Pentacles in the upright position. The Knight of Pentacles, this is a court card, so it could be that representing somebody new is on the horizon for you. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is uh, Earth sign, which is Virgo, like yourself, or that of Taurus or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now, it could be that this person is coming towards you with an offer of something stable and very secure and wants to make an, a gesture towards you. Now, this could be an element of your partner, your current partners. Uh, maybe they are this week sort of coming around if you guys had a falling out before and you are trying to transform the element of your relationship. Maybe they are coming towards you with a very valid and solid offer. For others of you, this could be somebody brand new coming in and they're offering you something stable and secure and maybe even on the material level because you've also got the uh, Six of Pentacles following it as your central energy. This is a lot of reciprocity, a lot of give and take, and a lot of balance in a relationship. So this person may be coming in to offer you, maybe this person is extremely generous and generous towards you, or it could be, you know, it's also earth energy. Maybe it's you being extremely generous towards your partner or somebody who's coming towards you, but it's beautiful, nice energy. The Six of Pentacles following the Knight of Pentacles, this is like a, a very solid and straightforward offer. And it's, the next card is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is definitely whatever is coming or whoever is coming towards you, Virgo, they're very, very serious about it. Or if it's you going towards somebody, you are extremely serious and you want something very solid and uh, very down to earth. Uh, the next row, you have the star in the upright position. This uh, can indicate you have a brand new hope and inspiration. And you're feeling uh, very special and very, you know, like maybe this person is treating you like a star. And, you know, or perhaps this person just makes you feel that way because of what they're trying to offer you or coming in to offer you. So maybe you feel really special. This person could be making you feel like um, like a queen or a king. <laughs> it's paired up with the um, the eight of wands in the upright position, indicating a lot of communication. So it could be that this person is really making you feel special because maybe they're just like. Um, uh, coming at you with a lot of because this is arrows of love find their mark it could be that they're coming at you with a lot of love messages maybe they're sending you a lot of texts a lot of emails uh, just calling you a lot and there's a lot of communication going back and forth and it's in the upright position this card can also even indicate travel so maybe some of you are uh, this person is willing to travel to come and see you or you are maybe they're sending you a ticket to come and see them and the last card up is the Three of Pentacles in the upright position. Again, this card speaks of stability. This speaks of working together in harmony with another and trying to build something solid with a good foundation. It's It seems like, Virgo, there's... Um, there's like either new hope coming in, hope and inspiration to your current relationship. Maybe there is a big turnaround in the current current relationship because something needed to transform and change. And maybe what needed to change was uh, maybe this relationship needed to become more grounded and stable. And for others of you, if you left a relationship behind, it because of the fact that there was not a lot of... Uh, you know, emotional reciprocity or give and take there. It could be that 
you have somebody new on the horizon coming in and they're going to be offering you that very thing that you want. Looks very exciting for you, Virgo. Happy to see this. I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time. If you would like to book a private reading with me, um, you can just email me at starlordof7 at gmail.com. Until next time, bye for now.